Every time an archaeologist discovers something, a story begins that may never end. The end of the story would come with a full understanding of the discovery, although that is not always possible. The same applies to the enigmatic discoveries of scientists. Watch this video and try to unravel the mysteries of these intriguing discoveries. Number 1. Sheikh El Bailed. Also known as Sheikh El Bailed, he was a scribe in Egypt during the time of the 4th and 5th dynasties, approximately 4,500 years ago. He would not be considered a particularly significant scribe if it were not for the exceptionally realistic statue of him, which is the best preserved ancient wooden statue in the world. We don't know much about Caper's life, other than that he was a reader priest and also a scribe in the king's army. We don't even know what being a scribe in the king's army really entailed. Because of that, we will never know what he did to deserve such a fine statue when every other man of his rank had to settle for a fairly basic tomb. Caper's tomb was found in the Saqqara necropolis by Auguste Mariette in the 19th century. The nickname Sheikh El Bailed, meaning chief of the people, comes from the Egyptian excavators who worked for Mariette. They thought the statue was identical to the old man from the town where they came from. The statue of Caper, which is made of sycamore wood and depicts the scribe walking with the help of a staff, is now in the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. Number 2. The Mysterious Stones of Aslan In 1999, Dr. Pablo Garcia Sanchez discovered stones in the desert area of El Toro, in Oelos, Jalisco, that appear to represent extraterrestrial visits 27,000 years ago. The stones show flying saucers, gray aliens, and scenes from space, mixing Mesoamerican styles. Some even have star maps and representations of the Aztec calendar with alien faces. The artifacts, some made of stone and others of kaolin, baffle researchers due to their quality and the technique used. According to carbon-14 tests, they date back thousands of years. In 2015, Garcia published a book suggesting that these artifacts indicate extraterrestrial influences on the Aztec civilization, linking them to the mythical Aztlan. A farmer also found 3,000 artifacts in a cave, of which 2,500 were made of stone and the rest were made of kaolin. These objects, without molds, appear to have a layer of patina that does not adhere permanently, which surprised the researchers. Despite the evidence, the authenticity of the artifacts is debated. Researchers like Klaus Dona support its antiquity, while critics demand more studies. Mexican authorities dismissed the discovery as a hoax, but the possibility of ancient contact with extraterrestrials remains open. Number 3. The Vikings, known for their ferocity, carried the Ulfbert sword, a weapon constructed of steel so pure that its quality remains difficult to replicate today. Around 171 Ulfbert swords, dating between 800 and 1000 AD, have been found in Europe. These swords were made of a metal with almost no impurities, known as crucible steel, which required smelting iron at very high temperatures, something unknown in Europe for centuries. Ulfbert steel contained three times more carbon than other swords of the time, making them stronger, more flexible, and lighter. This level of purity and carbon control was a feat thought impossible before the Industrial Revolution. However, medieval blacksmiths could not reach the temperatures necessary to separate slag from iron. Experts believe that temperatures of 1,700 degrees Celsius were needed to make Ulfbert, which Viking smiths achieved 800 years before their time. Although the secret of its construction has been lost, modern blacksmith Richard Furrer managed to recreate a similar sword using medieval technology, although he described it as extremely complex. The name Ulfbert engraved on the swords remains an enigma. Some believe it represents a legendary blacksmith or a family of blacksmiths, while others suggest it could be related to a monastery or secret society. The Ulfbert were probably weapons of the Viking elite, as only 171 have been found.
The origin of the technology used to create these swords is unknown, which has led to speculation about the influence of an advanced civilization on the knowledge of metallurgy. The mystery of the name Ulfbert and how the Vikings acquired this technology remains one of the great archaeological enigmas. Number 4. Jade Funeral Suits Our ancestors had many strange and wonderful funeral traditions. If you were fortunate enough to be of ancient Egyptian nobility, you would probably be buried in a glorious tomb with a fine sarcophagus. If, on the other hand, you were a medieval peasant, you would probably end up unceremoniously in a mass grave. However, if you were very wealthy and lived in China during the first century BC, you might have ended up inside one of these incredibly ornate jade funerary suits, woven with threads made of gold and silver. The first written record of the costumes comes from the year 320 AD, although there is some anecdotal evidence that they existed a few hundred years earlier. It was not until 1968 that archaeologists confirmed its existence by finding a real example. They found two jade suits that belonged to Prince Lu Shang and Princess Do Wan, his wife, and dated back to the Han Dynasty. It is thought that making just one of the suits would have required 10 years of work even for a skilled jade craftsman. The choice of jade as a material remains a mystery, as it is porous and does not preserve bones well. The skeletons inside the suits had almost completely collapsed. Number 5. Saints of Catacombs If you know which cemeteries to look in Rome, you might find some so-called catacomb saints. The strange existence of these jeweled skeletons is connected to a fraud perpetrated by the Vatican between the 16th and 19th centuries. For reasons that have never been explained, the Vatican ordered the exhumation of several skeletons from cemeteries in Rome, dressed the bones in fine clothing and jewelry, and shipped them to Catholic countries around the world as the supposed physical remains of saints. The skeletons became revered objects in the countries they reached, often adorned with even more gold and jewels. In some cases, the anonymous bones were even dressed in crowns and clothes like kings and queens. Many of them are now on display in the catacombs of Rome, hence their modern nickname, Catacomb Saints. As historical curiosities, they are some of the strangest religious objects of all time. Number 6. Mosaic of the Trojan War In October 2022, an astonishing discovery was made, a massive mosaic dating back to Roman times in Syria. The mosaic features panels telling the story of the Trojan War and is a notable find, especially as it was nearly destroyed and sold on the black market by terrorist groups. The mosaic is 1,600 years old and was found within the ruins of a 5th century building in Rastan. It occupies an area of 120 square meters and is believed to have been first discovered in 2015, only to be later seized by Daesh which controlled territories in the region at the time. In 2017, a representative of the group put the mosaic up for sale, but fortunately, it was purchased by Lebanese businessmen who recognized its importance and donated it back to the Syrian state in 2022, when it was deemed safe to do so. Despite telling the story of the Trojan War, the mosaic does not include any representation of Achilles or the Trojan horse. Modern historians are increasingly convinced that Achilles was a mythical figure and that the Trojan horse was a metaphorical description of the deceptive tactics employed by Greek soldiers during war. Number 7. Baiae. It is an ancient coastal city located in the Campania region of southern Italy, near the city of Naples. During Roman times, Baiae was a prosperous tourist and residential center for its luxurious villas, thermal baths and picturesque landscapes. It was a popular destination for the Roman elite, including emperors and aristocrats, who built magnificent residences in the area. However, over the centuries, Baiae suffered a series of natural disasters, including earthquakes and volcanic eruptions from nearby Mount Vesuvius. But what really led to the city's sinking was seismic activity and land subsidence 
which gradually caused much of Bai to sink beneath the sea. Today, much of the ancient city of Bai is already submerged under the waters of the Gulf of Naples. Archaeologists have carried out numerous underwater investigations to study the remains of this lost city. Among the most notable finds are the ruins of ancient Roman villas, mosaics, statues, and thermal bath structures. The Bayi underwater ruins offer a fascinating insight into daily life in ancient Rome and are a popular destination for divers and underwater archaeologists. Additionally, some of the archaeological remains have been preserved and can be visited in local museums, providing a window into the glorious past of this sunken city. Number 8. Jade Stones with Mysterious Sculptures Residents on the outskirts of Puebla, near Veracruz, Mexico, found in March 2017 jade stones with mysterious sculptures that appear to represent humanoid beings with large heads, similar to gray aliens. This finding was reported on Twitter by journalist Javier Lopez Diaz from Cinco Radio. The stones, studied by experts, present engravings that could represent a real contact between beings from other worlds and the Mayan or Aztec civilizations. The authenticity of these artifacts seems to be confirmed by the inspection of a nearby cave, where more remains and petroglyphs were found that reproduce scenes of an encounter between extraterrestrial beings and pre-Hispanic cultures. Various sculpted designs can be seen on the documented stones, including spaceships and beings resembling gray aliens. One of the stones shows a spaceship with a being holding an oval object and a pre-Hispanic chief with an ear of corn. The discoverers called these stones first meaning stones. Researchers suggest that ancient locals would have had contact with extraterrestrials and documented it through rock engravings. Hector Pavon, in charge of the team's security, stated, they are extraterrestrial ships and more than anything they are teaching us that the extraterrestrials had contact with the Mayans, dialoguing, and making exchanges. Number 9. Discovered in 1929 in Istanbul's Top Copy Palace, the Piri Reis map has been the subject of intrigue and debate among historians. The map was created in 1513 by the Ottoman admiral and cartographer Piri Reis. It is notable because it shows parts of the world, such as the Americas, in a way that challenges our understanding of 15th century geography. He thinks about how a map from 1513, just two decades after Columbus sailed to the Caribbean, could depict the New World in such detail. The mystery deepens when you consider some of the speculative theories about the map. Some suggest it shows the coastline of Antarctica a continent not officially discovered until the 19th century. How could this be possible sources of knowledge are lost over time? However, historians offer a more substantiated explanation by suggesting that the cartographer used multiple sources for his map, including letters from Columbus's voyages. Despite logical historical explanations, the map remains a fascinating enigma. Number 10. Stones of Hunger Hunger stones are a curious European invention that tend to be created only in times of trouble and tend to appear only in times of trouble as well. The most notable to have recently come to light was found in the Czech Republic, on the banks of the Elba River, in late 2018. Water levels in the river were unusually low that year and revealed a message believed to have been carved in the stone by an innkeeper named Franz Meyer in 1904. The message is simple and says, if you can read me, cry. The implication is that if the river water has fallen to a level so low that the message can be read, a drought is inevitable. There was a terrible drought in 1904 in Prague, fortunately, that of 2018 was not as pronounced. There were more businesses dependent on the river in the early 20th century, so when it dried up, so did their income. Modern Prague is better able to withstand such an event. All hunger stones serve the same basic purpose, and the oldest known example is at Dessen, which is also in the Czech Republic. It dates back to 1417, but no one knows who wrote it. Number 11. 
The Fukong Meteorite Sometimes treasure just falls from the sky. The Fukong Meteorite looked like any other piece of space rock in 2000, revealing a shimmering, honeycomb-like internal structure not found on Earth. The translucent crystals are made of olivine and are situated in a network of hyphens that landed in the Gobi Desert in China. However, when error nickel was discovered and cut. When the sun shines through the sliced layers of rock, it gives an impression like looking through a glass window. It would have been nice if the people who found it had kept it in one piece, but it has been cut into pieces and sold piece by piece to the highest bidder. The largest piece, weighing just under 1,000 pounds, was auctioned for $2 million in New York City in 2008. If that's over your budget, you can buy plenty of smaller pieces of the rocket line for $50 per gram. The meteorite belongs to the clown class, which makes up only 1% of all meteorites that fall to Earth, but this one is by far the most beautiful. Number 12. The Ruins of Bai. There is a set of ancient ruins called Bai in Bacali, Italy, which are a rich hunting ground for archaeologists. This place was once a pleasure palace for the richest people in Rome, but the biggest mystery at the site is not something the super-rich Romans have left behind, but the fig tree that is growing in its ruins. Fig trees are not uncommon in this part of the world, but this one is not like all the others. It is growing in reverse and seems to exist only to defy the laws of gravity. The roots of the tree are in the roof of the arch from which it grows, which is rumored to have been part of a villa belonging to Emperor Nero, the most hedonistic Roman of all. Scientists have never been able to figure out how the tree ended up on the roof or how it managed to survive against all odds, with no obvious food source. However, every year the tree bears figs. Some scientists are concerned that the tree's growth is damaging the crumbling arch, but so far there has been no serious discussion about removing it. Number 13. Perhaps the most famous attraction on Easter Island is the Moai statues. Moai are large monolithic statues that represent human beings. Currently there are 887 Moais on the island. Historians believe that the Moai were created by the Rapanui Aborigines between the years 1200 and 1500 AD. The first to describe these statues was the famous explorer James Cook. Most of the Moai are made of andesitic basalt that was extracted from the quarry of the Reno Raraku volcano. On average, the height of these statues is 3 to 5 meters and their weight does not exceed 5 tons. The largest of them has a height of just under 10 meters. To this day, the true purpose of these statues remains unknown. Locals believe that these stone giants were built by leaders and that the power of their ancestors resides in them, helping to keep the island fragrant and fertile. However, the details of the legend vary among locals. How such huge stones were transported to construction sites also remains a mystery. Scientists assume that primitive tools were used that allowed heavy rocks to be lifted, as well as pack animals. Number 14. Alfara Landscape A visit to the White Alfara Desert in Egypt might be the closest you'll get to walking on the surface of an alien planet. There's something airy about exploring the terrain here, where thousands of years of exposure to the elements have battered and molded the chalk rock into strange shapes. It is a place where your eyes can easily play tricks on you, as some people believe the stones have been carved to look like animals, while others see human faces or silhouettes. In fact, scientists believe that none of the stones and rocks here have been carved or formed by human hands, but there are many people who disagree with that statement. To truly appreciate the full beauty of the White Desert, your best bet is to book an overnight camping trip and watch as the setting sun brings color and shade to the landscape, creating new shapes in the process. It's amazing to think that this is only a few hours away from the center of Cairo.